I think the most important thing for us and for our customers is that we forecast future regulations and future operating costs. And that's what we are actually doing in the team. We're trying to combine this. We combine the technical knowledge to make our aircraft the most climate friendly possible with the economic knowledge. So we know what it will cost at the end for the customer. It's a challenge to keep up with all the different regulations on the globe because our customers, of course, they come from everywhere, from very different backgrounds. And that's also a very important point for our aircraft that we try to make this aircraft operable economically everywhere in the world. And this is also why we go for power to liquids for a very good form of sustainable aviation fuel. We complement the capability of our aircraft. So the D328 Echo will be able to use 100% SAF, any type of SAF, even with zero aromatics. But it will also be able to consume standard Jet A1 kerosene. And that's super important because our aircraft will fly for 30, 40 years. We cannot guarantee that at each point where it will be operated, we will have access to the most modern or the most environmental fuels. Um, basically, the Echo will eat everything. And that's um, very important also to mention. Of course, if we have the possibility, we want to go for the most climate-friendly option, that is PTL, based on direct air capture. And there are regions where this can be available pretty soon.